Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers in California may be one big step closer to one of the most elusive and sought-after breakthroughs in all of science, harnessing the power of fusion. Last week, the BBC reported that an experiment had been conducted at the National Ignition Facility in Livermore, California, where the tiny pellet of hydrogen, which serves as the fuel for the hoped-for fusion reaction, released more energy than it absorbed from the 192 lasers striking it. It wasn't a full-on fusion reaction, which is why you're hearing about this from me rather than everyone. But it was the first time ever that the fuel in a fusion experiment released more energy than was being put into it. A very encouraging sign that fusion, a clean and practically inexhaustible source of power, could finally be within our reach. Speaking of improved power sources, a team of scientists at George Washington University have invented a newer, better battery. It's called a molten air battery, and it combines elements from existing proven designs to produce a battery with exceptionally high electrical storage capacity that is also rechargeable. Stronger, longer-lasting batteries to power electric cars is just one potential application. These batteries are stable and capable of storing large amounts of energy, and they're relatively inexpensive and easy to make. Stuart Licht, the leader of the team at GWU that built these molten air batteries, hopes to see them in use in as little as two years. Finally, a team of researchers at the University of California, Riverside, has discovered a promising new method of combating deadly viral infections by unleashing the body's innate virus-destroying mechanism. A team of microbiologists led by Shu Wei Ding, a professor at UCR, found that mammals possess the same capacity as plants and invertebrate animals to use RNA interference to kill viruses invading their cells. In 2002, Professor Ding demonstrated that RNAi is a commonly used and very effective antiviral defense used by plants and invertebrates, but it wasn't clear until now that mammals possessed this same defense, since we use other, seemingly less effective defenses to fight off viruses. Thanks to Professor Ding and his team at UCR's Institute for Integrative Genome Biology, we now know mammals do have this capacity to fight off viruses using RNAi. The difference is, viruses that infect mammals have evolved to use proteins that suppress the mammalian RNAi process. Professor Ding found that when he infected mice with an otherwise lethal virus whose suppressor protein had been removed, the mice produced swarms of interfering RNA which quickly destroyed the infection. Professor Ding is currently seeking funding for further research to develop vaccines for deadly viral diseases based on this work. One lab in California comes a step closer to fusion, a team of scientists in Washington, D.C. build a better battery, and another lab in California discovers a way to unlock our innate virus-destroying abilities. That's the good news. Oh, Adi can't get all done. That's 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 a wrap for Adi.